Rival parties managed to vote on pending bills during today's plenary session, but in many other areas, it's still a long and bumpy road ahead with the clock ticking. Kim Minji has the latest from Parliament. Rival lawmakers had their sleeves rolled up on Tuesday to make up for a two week parliamentary standstill. In a plenary session, they passed more than 60 pending bills, including ones on improving people's lives and boosting public safety. Time is of the essence now since half the month was lost to partisan bickering. Plus, the February session was shortened, in part by the Lunar New Year holiday break and by the Pyeongchang Winter Olympics. As a result, key bills had been put on hold, despite the parties vowing to work for the people when the session kicked off three weeks back. For the remainder of the month, the Parliament's Judiciary Committee will need to deliberate and pass bills submitted by relevant standing committees, something that has to be done before the bills can be put up for a vote during a plenary session. One of them is a special bill related to the military's deadly crackdown on pro-democracy protesters in the southwestern city of Gwangju in 1980. It calls for the creation of an independent body to look into the use of force against civilians by the military regime of then-President Chun doo hwan And beyond that, rival lawmakers have still got plenty on their plates. Rival parties have managed to avert the disgrace of leaving the February session empty-handed, but now the big task at hand is crafting a proposal for amending the Constitution. They'll need to agree on both the specific content of an amendment and the timing of a referendum before the government is done with its own version. Kim Min-ji, Arirang News.